I would like to introduce another Cary School senior, Andrea Ruiz, and her Panther Points of Pride video. It's the teachers, especially the teachers that are sort of more strict, like Miss Young. Um, I do not like math, but she has made me continue and like the process. So it's more of taking the hard classes, even though I don't want to. In the end, it's going to be worth it, especially um, knowing that I've come up far ways and I, I, I'm able to do it now. There's a lot of people I look up to, um, and there's some here in Cary, there's some in Haley, there's some in Mexico, there's some in Florida. Uh, it's crazy. It's all the teachers and all the people that have um, been there with me, guided me through all my choices. There was times when I wanted to settle, but um, teachers or uh, my parents told me not to not to settle because there are more things that I could do, especially with what how far I come. So there's too many people to choose from. I would say, as much as it pains me to say it out loud, I think math actually is my favorite subject because it's a sort of like a love-hate relationship. I hate doing it. I do not like uh, the process of learning it because it's, some, it's like a different language, especially when there's different um, symbols. But once I get go get help from Miss Young or look up online, um, it's useful. I use it in real life. So math, actually, yeah. I'm actually quite a very busy person. Um, since last year, I decided to do more for my own life and just not sit around. So I, so far, last year, I went to a mini mission to Mexico, Tijuana, Mexico, and we went to an orphanage. And we stayed there for a week and we built bathrooms and doors and we got to hang out with the kids. And I loved it. So three months later, I found myself uh, being introduced to the Flourish Foundation and now I am a compassionate leader. Um, every Tuesdays uh, we go we have weekly meetings and we talked about um, we focus on mostly on empathy, kindness and compassion and we do it through politics, ethics um, and medita meditation practices. And in the end, uh, we can go on an international trip, another service trip. We can either go to India or Morocco or Chiapas, Mexico. But before that, we have to raise money and do 100 hours of community service. So outside of school, I do that and I like it. In five years, what I want people to remember about me is that even if people tell you no, that you can't make it or it's too hard, you just gotta ignore them. Even it's, if it's like your closest friends or your, uh, your favorite teacher or anything or even family members, you just, if you wanna do it and if you believe in yourself, just do it. Because in the end, you'll be the one making your dreams come true. For in one to two years from now, I believe I will be completing maybe almost my nursing program. As of right now, I'm already taking CNA classes, so it's sort of giving me a boost to finish earlier. And then six to eight years, in that time period, I want to take a, another service mission, but I will already be certified in either um, like a, a certified a nursing assistant, so I want to travel outside the country to third world countries and help there before and then after that I will be going into a nursing pr practitioner. Last year I took a class online, two classes online, it was the Fundamentals of Health profes Professions and Medical Terminology. I first wanted to see if I wanted to go into that or not and I liked it. Uh, there was a lot of memorization and now a few weeks ago, I started my CNA classes. They're Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from five to nine, and we do we do what a nurse well, a nurse a nurse assistant would do. We will go to clinicals. We have to buy our scrubs and our stethoscopes, and we will go meet real people and actually um, help them dress or help them eat. And it's going to be 
great. In 10 years, what I'll remember most about Cary High School was the teachers, the staff. Um, it's such a small community that we all know each other pretty well and it's easy to talk to them. We, if there's something bugging us or if we need help, we know we can get help from them. And if we're doing something wrong, they'll tell us. <laughs> they'll tell us to fix it. And then we will, and we'll get better at it, thanks to them. Really, in, so for my situations, when I had to overcome something difficult, I had to be a little emotional at first because it just comes as a big hit and so you got to take care of that first and then once you are sort of have a clear mind you can see all the little bits and pieces and figure out what to do and what not to do so it's also being patient and making sure you have your friends and your family around to guide you through that difficult time and just know it's it's not the end you'll be fine and if not another door will open I, so my freshman and sophomore year, I was sort of in a different world. Like, I didn't really care about my grades or my, you know, my time here at school. I, I just wanted to read or watch movies or whatever, or be with my friends. And it was until my junior year um, that I started to pick it up. And starting my junior year, I knew that if I kept going how I was doing, I would probably just end up working at McDonald's or something. So I did pick it up and it was hard. I did a lot of classes, extra classes online, and then I did community service at the Hunger Coalition for two years weekly. And I grew from that. It, it made me realize that what I thought was important was not re was not important at all and I learned life lessons that I would never forget especially getting from working um, with organizations like the Hunger Coalition and one time at Safe Haven and the YMCA so yeah basically I am just glad that I was able to know what I want to do now after those two years of not caring and not doing anything, I was able to do all this extra work and be able to be proud of all my grades and all the extra hard work I've done. I got the courage to ask teachers more questions. I got the courage to talk to strangers about uh, worldwide problems or um, budgets or service. Um, probably it would be seek to understand them to be understood because um, in my experience, I need to first make sure that I know what I'm being asked to do or I know what the problem is before I can make them listen to me. Because if you don't, you'll just end up having a bigger mess and it won't end to a very good ending. If I could go back, I would think all my teachers from elementary, Mrs. V, Mrs. Carlson, Mrs. Kuhn, to name a few, um, and all the, all the people that I only briefly met them, even just a simple, like, wow, you're doing a great job, it, it helped me, even though at the time it didn't, it didn't seem like it. But mostly, it'd be my parents. Even though, um, even though, I don't say it as often or I, I don't show as much as my parents. They sacrifice so much for my siblings and I. I am Andrea Reese. My parents are Hilario and Rosa Reese. And I am a senior at Cary High School. Thank you, Andrea. We appreciate you visiting with us and we look forward to your bright future.